Tonight's film is the 2004 The Night of Truth, or La Nuit de Verité. It's from Burkina Faso and directed by Fanta Regine Nacro. Yes, that's a woman, and yes, it's an African. It's a film about a fictional West African country that uh, two warring factions have come to a very uneasy peace from. The two sides, the Bonados and the Nayaks, are now negotiating a truce. And that truce is based on a very fragile understanding between the two leads, Colonel Teo and Le President. The two set up a meeting, and this will lay the foundations for the peace and hopefully this, the ongoing development of the country. But in life, as we know, it's far harder to forget the past than it is to move on to the future. La Nuit de Verité is a film about guilt, and it's about memory. And memory starts us off in this film, we see visual displays of the horrors that have happened over the course of the war. And that is pretty much everywhere in rather gratuitous and rather shocking visual depictions of acts of genocide. Then we have this wonderful beating drum that underlines a lot of the emotional resonance of the film and also plays onto the guilt of the mother who has to come to terms with the death of her son and how, specifically, how he died. Now... When the film opens, we see the mother with her son playing in the foreground. And this is a memory that's haunted her since the beginning of, well, the reconciliation period. The reconciliation trials of, in Rwanda at the time, Liberia and Sierra Leone, as well as Bosnia, were definitely in front of what Nakra was thinking when she was writing this piece. She mentions that she was trying to reconcile the idea of what it is to be human and what it is to be an animal. And that is very much at the surface of this film. Guilt is perversive and pervasive and something that is deeply entrenched in all of us. But in this film, it's, it's resonance towards what the characters are being motivated to understand, to reconcile, to almost refine themselves. By that I mean that it's difficult to conceptualise why you do something and why something has happened without understanding the context behind it. And even then, as we see... It doesn't always come to a resolution easily. But however, it's via the mother's guilt of the death of her son and wanting to know how he died that we are forced into understanding the fragility of peace and fragility of a country at war. This is the emphasis of the piece and the revelation at the end, which I will warn you is startling and shocking, will stay with you 